Hi, it's an exciting day in my workshop. The really exciting part is I have this easy puller. It's a bar puller, so I can put in a long bar into the spindle, and then I can hit go in theory, and this thing will run apart, and then this guy will come down and pinch this. The collet will unlock, it'll pull it out, and then it, call it will lock back, and then uh, it'll make the same part again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> so the reason I'm doing all of this is to make this part. And specifically, I need to make 100 of these parts. This is to go on a stock race car, I believe. It's a spacer that will sit in between the fiberglass shell and the steel frame. And so I thought, well, this would be a great uh, time to bust out the bar puller and uh, see if I can refine the process and, and sort of get to a point of automation where I'm not sitting here feeding in stock. I'm letting the machine do most of the work. All right, I've already got a problem. Okay, it's day two on this. After a lot of playing with my offsets, I've got some issues that I need to iron out, but I think I've figured it out enough to be able to give it a, t a test. Okay, here we go. So we've got the drill operation going. So far, so good. Part fell, so now, moment of truth. See if the bar puller actually works. Backing away. Pulling it in. Woohoo! And it goes again. Oh my goodness, it is cutting a second part without me having to do a thing. That is incredible. She's just back there doing her thing, you know, just kind of making parts. Okay, first round finished. Yeah. Here we go. Automation has come to my shop. And I've had some successes. I got a few parts to run, but I was only working with a one foot long uh, piece. And now I've got some three foot long stock, as you can see right here. And uh, so I'm almost ready to hit go and let it make a whole bunch of parts out of a three foot long piece and just watch it go. On my manual lathe, I made this bushing to go on here and ride in there so that the vibration of the spinning bar isn't that bad. And then I made another one right here that'll go and rest there inside the spindle right here. Okay, I'm ready to give it a try. It's all set up. We've got three feet of bar stock in there. I'm gonna cut approximately 36 parts and uh, we'll see how this goes. Not gonna lie, that is terrifying. So far, so good. It has stopped moving, which makes me think that it's hit the amount of uh, parts that it was supposed to make. And uh, here we see a big mess, but uh, a lot of pieces have gotten made. There they are. That's pretty neat.
It doesn't look like a lot, but there they are. It's a hundred little parts that uh, I made on my CNC lathe using uh, automation. Just have to grind this nub off on my uh, grinder and uh, they'll be ready to go. I'm super proud that I was able to figure this out and uh, just so excited about the possibilities that this opens up uh, in the future. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. So exciting.